to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. I'm going to just charge our hearts like we always do, but then I don't intend to keep us for longer than necessary. But there is a lot I sense that God is doing. I sense that there are many people, there has been a heightened spiritual preparation. There are people who have given intention to their preparation. And every time your faith rises to the heavens with expectation, the Bible says, the man who was at gate beautiful, that he looked at them expecting to receive. Expecting to receive. And he said, look on us. And he looked at them expecting to receive. He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And that was the end of it. I want you to be prepared to wave everything tonight goodbye that is inconsistent with the word of the Lord concerning your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Years ago, like you have known, the Lord gave me an assurance during one of the encounters I had with him. And he said, from today I give you my presence as a gift. And I'm standing in that dense cloud of his presence and that atmosphere. Then I see this angel standing by me. And he says, this angel will walk with you. And I said, what is his name? And he said, he is the angel of the Lord's presence. And so all of the signs and the wonders that you see, they happen for various reasons. Number one, because Jesus is glorified. The protocol is that when you lift up the name of Jesus and you glorify him, in and through your life and in and through what you do, he is, he is obliged by, by the character of his integrity to back you with his presence. But then furthermore, God can step into covenants with men. Not Old Testament, not New Testament. Personal covenants with men that become the portal for certain possibilities to find expression in their lives and then from their lives to the nations. Hallelujah. I just want you to pray one prayer with desperation that the grace and the mantle and the dimension of the spirit are located for you as far as this conference is concerned that will set you in a place of dominion in experience that may the Lord grant you access to it tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Go ahead and pray. Asaba, are you praying? East of the Niger, south, south. They looked on to him and their faces were lightened. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh.
place. The Lord is giving me an instruction. We are going to shout hallelujah seven times. Hallelujah comes from two words, halal Yeshua. It means praise the one who saves. Halal Yeshua is a mystery that is meant to invoke salvation. Halal Yeshua. Hallelujah. Seven times prophetically, this is what the Lord is giving me as an instruction. Now at the seventh shout, there are many, many kinds of impartation that will begin to happen to men. Please, I want you to bring them out seven times. Remember the mystery of seven. It took seven times around Jericho. Then seven times on the seventh day. It took seven times for Naaman to dip himself in Jordan. Is someone ready to change his level? According to the word of the Lord, seven times. I will prompt you and you will shout hallelujah. By the seventh time, there are some of you who have fasted and prayed. You have seen certain dimensions of grace and power. At that seventh shout, it's like the cloud of the wind of the spirit that will carry you to another realm and another dimension. Please, whether you are an usher or not, at the seventh shout, I want you to bring the people here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you ready now? One. Such, such, such grace. Five. Six. Get ready now. Are you ready now? At the seventh shout, seven. Bring them out. That grace. Please bring them. Shifted by the hand of the mighty God into a new season.
There are people God is asking me to prophesy to. God is saying there are things that have tied your destiny. Everyone is going forward except you. You have done all you know to do, and it looks like there is an embargo. But I come tonight by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Anyone here tied by any yoke, a practice at the count of three, may fire fall from heaven and consume everything holding you. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name. your life you have been fasting you have been praying some of you god has been destiny with little opportunities in ministry but now it's time for you to begin to walk in the anointing of your destiny i don't know where you are scattered in this auditorium but i call upon my god who is your god the anointer of men the borders josephs gideons i sound a shofar and in the name of Jesus, anyone with the call of God upon his life, may the grace that separates you, that consecrates you for that level of ministry, take that fire now. Let it come upon your destiny now. Please focus on what Jesus is doing tonight. This lady, this lady looking at me with her hands shaking. I'm seeing an angel pour something like oil on her head. And the Lord is saying he's going to shift this lady to a new dimension in the spirit. I stretch my hands right now. I don't know who she is. I don't know her name. But the Lord is saying he's separating you. And he will walk wonders in Abakatakatosigata. There is a grace for prophetic prayer and intercession. In every region, there are men and women God is recruiting. Men who understand the art of the altar. They know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar until revival comes. I came here tonight to release that grace. Where are they, oh God? From the length and the breadth of this place. Women like Anna the prophetess. Men like Simeon. The grace to travel at the count of three. May that man to find your destiny. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Oh warrior in the spirit, arise. Arise in power. Please help him. Hallelujah. You will soon be seated. Just be patient with me. The Lord is doing a quick work in it. There are people who God wants to deliver from the spirit of fear. You have lived perpetually in fear. There are realms you would have stepped into. But everything God has told you, the fear of moving forward. The fear of what people will say. The fear of yesterday. You are my hiding place. You always feel my heart. Resource. I
in an atmosphere like this I want you to know that Jesus is here more than a man of God this is not a show this is the Lord Jesus revealing himself in the midst of his people and calling them to deeper levels is doing you don't have to be out here something is happening to you there is a breaking of the flesh there is a release even of the spirit you will leave this place and see that things have changed in your life hearing a name Angela and the Lord is saying I should tell you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for the Lord is saying I should tell you behold I do a new thing and I pray the past that is holding on to you and will not let you go I break you free from it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a woman seven years you've not had a child who is that? The Lord wants to change your life now. Seven years. Seven years. Is there a woman like that? There are cries of adoration. I see men from every nation lift their voice. To make your glory known Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord Saints and the angels by Jesus Christ, I decree and declare for Angela, my 
my God is shifting you to a new season. I'm seeing light coming. The power of God is coming. Let this be the beginning of a new season for you. In the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the Christ, I declare that the limitations that you came for this meeting with, may they leave you like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands now, even by the Spirit. I saw the power of God coming on two of you. May that anointing that makes for the next level of your destiny, may that grace be released upon you now. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, I declare this even by the Spirit of God. You will never be the same. By that anointing, one of you, that anointing that is coming on you is the grace for restoration. You have lost several things in your life and the Lord is telling you that he is going to restore. The little one is also Angela. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the hand of God will rest upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Seven years you are trusting God. Who is Ifunaya? Ifunaya. There is, I mean, I just heard the name Ifunaya. You'll be seated shortly. Ifunaya, is there someone like that? What are you turning to wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit listen when you see God walk like this please listen let me say this hold on you see more than just showing that a man is powerful if that is all you see you have not seen well you see clearly when you see Jesus lifted and glorified in and through the frailty of men are we together this is what I want you to see beyond the manifestations of men to see you high and lifted up You are shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love We sing holy, holy, holy We'll see you high and lifted up You are shining Christ, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. Everything that has not been planted by my God at work in your life and at work in your destiny. I come here tonight visiting this land and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus as revealed to me by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end now. There is someone, there's something growing among those in front here. There's something in your stomach that the devil has put is a growth. I see the healing power of Jesus touching it right now. There is a strong anointing coming on you right now. The Lord is bringing healing. I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. 
but in the name of Jesus that every tree that has not been oh my God there is no hiding place in the name of Jesus for the light shineth in darkness the Bible says and the darkness comprehended it not I declare let it be out of your body now let it be out of your system now out of your body now and out of your system now and for all of you in front here that I called I decree and declare rise to a new dimension in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I know that there are many people here who may belong or desire this category I'm about to call but there is a particular gentleman there is a particular gentleman that God is calling into two dimensions one is a strong prophetic teaching grace and then the other is a very strong healing anointing I know there are many people who do the impartation but I, I have I'm, I'm submitted to the spirit of the living God there is a gentleman he's going to shout under the anointing now in the congregation not among those who are here please let me have that gentleman I want to speak over his life in obedience to the things that I see Jesus, I've got something more than gold, and I will tell it to my world. Jesus is more than gold. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to my world. things one of the things that I was very impressed with when when I stepped in here was Pastor Ike giving visibility to one of our lovely daughters here the lady who ministered now you see one of the things you have to learn in leadership is that a good leader does not just maintain followers you must be able to raise and train people and give them visibility some of them will downplay your relevance don't worry already designed in the law is a system of honor that will not bend hallelujah now so that lady what's her name huh peace may god bless you come you're going to sing a song for me here Anansi, hallelujah Anansi, hallelujah. Come on, South South. Let's go! 
thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing else seems to be growing. I want to take authority over that spirit before I pray for the sick. Delay. Whole families tied under the yoke of these wicked spirits. There are men and women of God, very gracious, loving, love Jesus with all their hearts. But this delay, I want to rebuke that spirit now. Are you ready now? From the front to the back, delay alongside every spirit that does not name the name of Christ. At the three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. And hear me, believers, if God be God, with that shout, Tehila, that comes the end of Jericho as a limitation over your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus that anyone here who is a victim of delay, that includes every family, every business, every ministry, for as long as that delay is in your life, it must answer to the power of the blood. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command delay. Go now. I release you. Everyone, help this woman who is a victim of delay. Every family, every ministry, every destiny. in your time tonight you will marvel and wonder the testimonies that begin to happen to you now hear me please I'm beginning to sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing and I left attempting your body death attempting is an administration sickness is within the office of death because the final journey of sickness is that it causes a deterioration to your body to an extent that your spirit can no longer stay in your body are we together I want to pray for you now for all those in the front here I want to speak over their lives and then they can go back to their seats so that I pray for the sick Jesus again will be glorified in Asaba for all those who are in front I decree and declare the Lord brought you here by his spirit and by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there be any spirit that is not consistent with the spirit of the Christ in and through your life I declare be delivered now but then for whatever call God brought you out here I declare you become a partaker of that grace you will go back and your life will be a visible expression of this grace that you have carried let it be so in the name of Jesus please return to your seat I want to pray for the sick now who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the Lord strong
let it be so. just the celebration of the healing power of Jesus, I believe that in every region, and that includes your region, that there are men and women that the spirit of grace seeks to bring into the reality of the healing ministry. I can tell you this, that our generation has not really seen the healing ministry in its full strength. Here and there, there are people who operate in the gifts. People get healed, but you need to be a good student of scripture. And of modern history to see the spectacular manifestation of the healing ministry as an office and I believe that before Jesus returns to the earth there will be a very definite restoration of that mantle that men and women listen carefully will begin to carry the abakas kutabaliakata this mantle of healing mantle of healing there are nations that need to be healed, not just bodies. There are people that need to be healed. There are families that need to be healed. But for now, I want to pray for the sick. I believe in a miracle ministry. I am a miracle myself. I know what it means to be sick and oppressed. And I know what it means to see one that is in the name of Jesus. Come to heal, come to deliver. And so right now, wherever you are, scattered within this auditorium and following online across the nations of the earth many of you have been afflicted and plagued by all kinds of things many of you are holding death sentences in your hands and in your body i like to agree with you right now wherefore god has so highly exalted him the bible declares and given him an office in a name and that at the mention or at the name of Jesus that every knee will bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father so you believe in the healing ministry of Jesus Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1 Jesus commissioned them and gave them power against unclean spirits to cast out demons. Seven and eight, he said that they should go and preach that the kingdom has come. And in preaching, they should validate the authority of the kingdom by healing the sick, by casting out devils, by raising the dead that they have received freely. And they should be lavish in dispensing that benevolence. We've been mandated by God to heal. Healing is when the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit superimposes the limitations in a human body to cause regeneration, to cause creation, to cause recovery, to cause cure to whatever ailments, be it biological, largely demonic, according to Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. It says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible declares that he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. Healing, oppressed, healing, oppressed. Not those that were sick, those that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Are we together? Lay your hands wherever you are trusting God for a miracle right now. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called, just keep your hands there, Emmanuel.
Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you 